Hey, what's up? It's Wick for Redmi Fi. You know Redmi, the sub-brand of Xiaomi that makes lower segment smartphones? Well, they make a lot more than just smartphones now. Let's look at the $100 Redmi washing machine. Can that really be any good? Well, let's find out. Let's go. So first, what is this Redmi washing machine? The Redmi is a top load washing machine. It's got pretty much the dimensions you'd expect, 52 by 53 by 90 centimeters, and it weighs only 29 kilograms. It's really not that heavy. It can load up to eight kilograms of laundry. It has 10 different laundry programs, spins up to 640 rotations per minute, and at only 59 and 69 dB, it's actually very, very silent. It does use up to 390 watts, which does give it an energy label C, which is not really that great actually. So this is a bit of an unusual episode as I just bought this Redmi for my old apartment. So this is really me just hand holding a camera, doing an overview of this washing machine. So I must apologize that it does not have that higher production value that you're used to, but I just thought this was a very interesting product to look at considering its ridiculous price. I just had the installers come and install it for me, which was actually included in the price. As it's a top load washing machine, you'll have this mechanism to open it and load it, as you can see right here. On the top panel, it's got the menu buttons and the on off button. It's got various washing programs here for uh, normal washing modes and a whole bunch of others. So as there's really not much more to it, I did load it up with some laundry to try it out and see how it does. So I threw in uh, two shirts, a towel, some cleaning cloths and well, just added a floor mat. As there is no drawer or anything to put in uh, any laundry detergent, you will just have to throw that in with the laundry. I chose the normal cleaning mode and hit start. So it will add the water from the top as I saw when I tried to open it during that stage and you can actually throw in some more laundry if needed. You could also still open it in the washing stage, um, but it will stop and give this beeping sound. Okay, After washing, it went into spinning mode and both were actually surprisingly silent. After 40 minutes, it was finished with my washing and spinning program and to my surprise, it actually did a good job. All seemed to be clean and to my bigger surprise, it was already dried pretty well for just a spin. So that's been my first hand experience with this $100 Redmi washing machine. So now what do I think? Well, first of all, the price is just ridiculous. It's a really, really cheap washing machine. But it did do a good job for as far as I've tested it. It seemed to clean very well, it dried very well with just that spin, and it looks and feels robust. It's actually very silent, and if you have translated the menu, it's also very easy to use. The fact that 750 RMB not only got me this washing machine, but it also got me the people delivering it all the way up to the third floor, and it got me the two people installing it and putting it in place the day after, that makes this all-in price of around $100 pretty, pretty crazy. The thing that I do would have loved to see is a lock for the top compartment when it's in use so that you can't open it, and I kind of would have loved to see a better energy label. I mean, you can't really expect a $100 washing machine to have an A++ energy label, but something slightly better would have been good to see. So that is about it for the Redmi washing machine, 1S. What do you guys think of uh, Redmi actually being this cheaper sub-brand of Xiaomi and making these pretty good products that are this insanely cheap? But really not all that bad. Let me know down here in the comment section what you guys think and leave a little like below this video to show me that you liked it. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, know that you probably should. As always, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see y'all soon. Peace.